Uh, there's a lot of news going on. I saw tons and tons of news out there, uh, especially stuff that we missed. Yeah, what do you okay, got? real quick before mm-hmm. we go into news, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to because I wasn't on the shows the last couple of days. First, great work in that article on Playboy. That was really, yeah. really, really good. Thanks, really, Josh. really good. Thank you, thank you uh, for speaking. Uh oh, we're going. No, down, no, are we going no, GOT now? No, no, no. no. Okay. I just said like thank you for speaking like truth in thank an article you so much. because I I I've been so bummed that I haven't been on Collider Live the two Mondays after the two biggest episodes, yeah, and I just right. like I've wanted to talk Game of Thrones with you people with somebody. So I talked to my dad yesterday for like thirty minutes, and I you know, Amanda watches it, so we've been talking about it. But I just wanted to say congratulations. That was Josh, thank yeah, you so it was, much. Cool. It was great. really good. Yeah, really are you good. gonna be on Monday for after the finale? Yeah, I'll be okay, here. Cool. Fine. The only thing yeah. to yeah. about my flights get all messed up. Yeah, because one thing I do want to say about that, and then we can move on because we shouldn't. I don't want to spend too much time on this again because we've done for the last couple of days for those people and I think that because both sides have been was rah, the rah, loudest rah, yawn I, have, I, I am <laughs> so sorry but I both sides never. have been really like two rabbit pit bulls yes and there's no there's no there's no doubt about it and I think that there's the, the both whether you feel uh, slighted that your opinions weren't be taken seriously because one, I want to make it very clear and I think Roxy and I said it a little bit as much too but to say it again to those and I know that there are some people just want to be mad and that's fine but other people um, maybe want to hear this uh, if you felt that your opinion was discredited because you said you don't think the writing is good on the show that was not the intent. The intent is that it's a matter of how people express their opinions mm-hmm. and how people uh, say certain things and how it's more about, it's not having legit criticisms. You are, at a viewer, as a viewer, are absolutely privileged to that. You, that's that's what we get by the fact that we, you're giving people your viewership. You're allowed to have a criticism. You're allowed to say, I don't like the way this is going. I don't enjoy this the way that I used to. That is your right. It's entitlement that is more what we were speak, speaking about. And maybe we didn't speak about Maybe we weren't elaborate enough when, when, the, the other day because we were coming off of passion, too. And if that is the case, and if you felt slighted, then I apologize to you as far as that, that way goes. But I am not apologizing to those who feel entitled that scream and yell. That was where we were coming from as far as the anger out there. Now, I'm not telling you that if you're a big fan of Game of Thrones from all these seasons and this season you don't like the way it's going, that your opinion is invalid to suck it up and like it. That is irresponsible on my end if that's where you thought I was coming from. So again, if you felt that way, I apologize. But what I will tell you is I will never apologize for those people screaming and yelling with pitchforks to people who are trying to create because it is their right to try to do this. They're not slighting you to slight you. They're, do, they're, they're making their material, but it is your right. It is absolutely your right to not like it. 